Hi everyone, we are here with author Kanika Saxena, the author of You're the Hero of Your Life. So hi Kanika, can you tell us a little bit about your book? Uh, this book is a self-help book. It's a self-empowerment book. It uh, talks about uh, setting realistic goals. You know, it talks about assessing your strengths, your weaknesses and then setting goals that are aligned with uh, your strengths so that they are achievable. And uh, it also focuses on uh, things like managing your relationships. Overall, the aim of this book is to help the readers to improve the quality of their lives and relationships. It talks about redefining certain concepts like uh, success where we associate only with chasing goals or money. But it's more about achieving a balance in life and uh, that is uh, what the book talks about. How did you come up with the title of this book? You know, I feel that we all admire the heroes we watch in movies and uh, we wish we could be like them or we feel that that is something impossible. We can't be like, uh, you know, the heroes, they seem to have so many powers. But I believe that there is a hero within each one of us. We have the power. Only thing is we do not recognize it and we make our lives stressful and difficult, complicated by not being clear about what we want, what we are all about. Uh, our focus goes here and there. So this, the title of this uh, book came about from this, you know, that wanting to be a hero and how you can be a hero to your life. What was your writing process like? This book actually, I participated in this uh, NaNoWriMo contest where uh, we are supposed to write uh, 30,000, uh, uh, sorry, 50,000 words in a month uh, uh, of November. This is held every year in November. So I participated in that uh, contest in uh, 2020 and I some, um, uh, wrote, I completed the target of 50,000 words, but that was just the first draft. The editing and finalizing took time and the book got released much later. Did you face any challenges while writing this book? No, I did not. Actually, I somehow the thoughts came flowing in and wherever I inserted some relevant quotes, there was topics that I could elaborate on and it just went on uh, continuously. Actually, I am a content writer. I write a lot of blogs and other things. So writing comes very easily to me. I don't have to think too much and this is about lifestyle habits. So it's easy. Um, how well do you think you have conveyed your emotions on the paper? I think I have conveyed it quite uh, well because uh, the language is very simple and anybody who reads can easily understand what I'm trying to convey. And then I have uh, given uh, some practical suggestions on how one can become the hero, how you can unleash the real hero uh, within you. So. It is a s simple self-help book in a very, very simple language that uh, you can implement the tips and uh, change the quality of your life. What kind of responses have you received so far? So far, uh, whoever has read, I have got some very good reviews on uh, Amazon. People have really liked it and they have especially liked the fact that uh, I have included some summary points or key takeaways uh, at the end of each chapter. So what happens is they can easily uh, revisit the chapter without having to read uh, everything else. And since it's a kind of a guide, it's a self-help book, it helps to have these points, pointers at the end of the chapter. Can you read a favorite quote from the book? I'll read the key takeaways from one of the chapters. One second. Yeah, this is a chapter, Love Yourself, chapter six of the book key takeaways of this chapter are loving yourself transforms the quality of life and relationships 
you can love yourself only when you stop looking at yourself from the viewpoint of others don't judge yourself based on the opinions of others also do not compare yourself with the perfect people who exist on media and social media your life is about you not others and what they think you can make positive changes in your life only if you love yourself and want to do something for yourself when you love yourself you will not be needy for love from another person to lead a fulfilled life self love is different from being narcissistic behavior self love makes an individual feel good about themselves while narcissistic behavior is destructive well thank you so much kanika we had a lovely time chatting with you thank you